Hi, I'm Connor. I'm an LSAT teacher with Stroman, and I got a score of 173 on my LSAT. I'd really like to be able to help students do the same. This video is part of my series on the four parts of the LSAT. Those parts are logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, reading comprehension, and the writing sample. Let's start with logical reasoning. Logical reasoning is pretty much the core of the LSAT. Uh, on every LSAT, there will be four scored sections, and two of those will be logical reasoning. Um, in the logical reasoning section, there will generally be uh, 25 questions, and you'll have 35 minutes to answer them. So you have less than a minute and a half for each question. And the way they're structured is that they start with um, a, a stimulus, uh, meaning a short passage of text that you have to understand and analyze then a question stem that tells you how to analyze that text, exactly what they're looking for, and then five answer choices, the multiple choice uh, answer choices. So that sounds simple enough, but a lot of these questions are really difficult. They'll ask you to do things like find hidden assumptions within the question, or find the answer choice that most closely models the reasoning presented in the uh, question stem. The great thing about these questions is that with, with training and practice, uh, you can actually anticipate what the correct answer will be before you even get to the answer choices. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our other LSAT videos and please subscribe. I'll see you in class.